just a day in the office. Here I am about to start my uh, my stencil. Doing a big lion on a guy's arm today. What I usually like to do when I'm doing anything based on reality or portrait. I usually trace everything first with a light table rather than just eyeballing the thing because you're going to get it a lot more accurate if you just trace it. So I got myself a nice little brush pen gives me nice line weight go over all the lines all the hair lines keep it fairly simple because I'm gonna blow it up and uh, you know there I am just getting all the different fur lines getting all the it's really important to get all your directional lines in because not only not only does it show you the direction of the fur but it kind of allows you to figure out where you're gonna be making your magnum lines you know your shading lines and all that so right now I'm getting all the different, uh, I'm simplifying the hair into more of leaf shapes. A little comic book trick there makes it a little more um, interesting to look at, a little more layers. Because lions got very frizzy hair, very difficult to tattoo, a kind of frizzy effect. Much more interesting to the eye to see these sort of flamey looking leafy shapes, I find. Just bowling up all the... Uh, the outer edges. I mean, a lot of people don't do this for stencils. I like to because I like to make those decisions beforehand where I want to make my thicker lines, where I want to make my thinner lines. At least this way I get to see it on skin beforehand. There it is, ready to go. I'm going to flip it first and uh, flip it in Photoshop, print it out larger. There's some of my machines. I like using Mike Pike's Aaron Canes. I'm using ion needles and uh, I'm using uh, I'm using some black claw liner needles as well All right, I'm doing the stencil oh yeah my setup today I'm using a uh, five round and I'm using uh, an eight hollow from uh, black claw needles and I'm I'm shading with a 25 straight magnum here we are starting the outline crazy time-lapse. My first little time-lapse video I've done tattooing actually it was a little difficult finding that little sweet spot so I had to sort of move it around here and there. Hopefully I can get this a little better for you guys in the future, get it a little more close uh, to, to the work so you can see what I'm actually doing. Either way it's still pretty interesting I think. This guy sat really well for his first large tattoo. We only took a couple of breaks here and there. You can see he's having a having a bit of a painful time here, but handling it really, really well. We're just shading in all the background now. I figured out all the background later on. I didn't think I'd get as far as I did, so I ended up doing some background that's going to eventually blend into a full sleeve. And you can see the lettering on his upper shoulder. He wanted to incorporate. He wanted to keep his old tattoo, so we kept the lettering in there. So there you have it. Thanks for uh, watching, and um, please subscribe. Click some likes, comment below. Let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see, and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks for looking.